All right, let's look at a couple examples here of some bullish and bearish divergence uh, using stochastics. We're going to use inter international game technology here. You can see the trading of the stock, and then we're going to use the slow stochastic down on the bottom here. Now, what you're noticing on this chart is a bullish divergence. So you can see that the stock is hitting new lows, but the stochastic is hitting higher lows. And so what that tells you is that although the stock is still in a downtrend here, it is losing steam. In other words, it's losing momentum. There are less sellers uh, than there were back in this area here. So the stock is losing its momentum coming into here. So now if you're following the chart here, you'll notice that there's a reversal in place and you'll see that the stock is breaking out of a point of resistance right here, which would be your buy point. But in this case, you're going to use this, the bullish divergence in your stochastics to identify that that is in fact a high probability breakout right through here. And so you've got that going and then you also have a break above 50, which tells you that although the stock is down quite a bit, it is really gaining significant momentum. And so as a result, you were rewarded with clearly a very powerful move to the upside. Now the other thing to notice is the stochastic didn't drop below 50 for a long time. That just goes to show that this is still carrying a lot of momentum. And so if you didn't sell on this break right here, you certainly wanted to look to sell as it broke below 50 because that's telling you that the stock is starting to lose some significant momentum. So a great example. Let's go to the next one.